Uh, Jeremy Dyson, I am uh, uh, primarily a writer, although I produce as well, and uh, um, that's me. My entry into the industry was via was with the League of Gentlemen, uh, which I co-wrote with um, the other three who you see on screen, and uh, we started on, on stage, um, uh, doing it in pub theatres, and we, which you know, which was a traditional route for comedy. We all we wanted to end up on television. Um, but we wanted, we also liked doing the live shows, but we knew that that was a, a way in, a way of becoming noticed. And it's all about being noticed. Uh, and that is, a, that is a fantastic way in. You know, find a way to get it, whatever it is that you're doing in front of real people, so you get that feedback of what an audience, what, what, what people respond to, whether it's comedy or drama. I think it's very helpful if, you, if you're gonna move into production or, or, uh, or directing, if you've written, um, as, you know, as, as, assuming that you are a writer, because you have an understanding of what the need is from the story point of view, which you're then not going to compromise when you're on the other side of the camera. So, but it, work, it can work the other way too. I think the more knowledge you have, the more experience you have of whatever medium it is that you're working in as a whole, the better it is, because it's all more information. Very simple tip for succeeding in the industry. One thing you have to do, never give up. And it's as simple as that. It's, that's what separates the people who succeed in the industry from, from people who fall by the white side. First break was working for working title films and I uh, worked at Runabav two years, and which involved making a lot of tea and photocopying many, many scripts. Um, and that was about 11 years ago. So I recommend very good way to start in industry and to get a real feel for how bigger films are are made. I think for an aspiring producer, I think it's I think it's two things. I think what what I did was worked as a runner on bigger films and worked as an assistant on bigger films on so you see how studio films work, but also at the same time be producing stuff. So you know started off producing short films and then. Um, lower budget digital films and creating relationships with directors who you think are going to be talented in the years to come because the, the value of a producer is really the talent they can bring to the table. First of all, um, what do you think is like, the main thing that BBC look for in like, new talent concerning scripts and like, scripts being sent in? Uh, it's the main thing with scripts is the quality of the idea, an idea that's arresting and fresh takes you into a world you haven't seen before, shows you characters that feel real. And then beyond the idea, the, it has to be executed well. The idea needs to be given flesh, needs to be structured properly, read like a real script, and feel like a story that you want to keep hearing. You need to want to turn the page. It's as simple as that. Well, my, my first advice to aspiring young filmmakers is watch lots of films. Primarily watch really good shorts, and then try and make a really good short yourself. I was giving advice on a short. Um, I did this way back when we started Virgin Media Shorts, is watch Spike Jones's early shorts. They do it really briefly. They have one story to tell. They tell it really well, and they make you laugh, and they shock. And that's really what you want to try and do in less than five minutes, if you possibly can. What kind of tips would you give to an aspiring filmmaker trying to make it in the business today? It's to hang on in there, really, is to do everything you can. A lot of people don't try as hard as they should. They think they try, but they don't really try. Um, it's a very, very tough business. There are vast amounts more people going into it than there are jobs. So you have to be focused and you have to give 110% commitment all the time.